वेलकम टू केस आर डेटा विशन यूट्यूब चैनल नाउ इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वेर वी हैव सीन द मास्टर क्लास ऑन फुल स्टैक पावर बी आई वी हैव रिसीव्ड मेनी मैसेजेस कमेंट्स एंड फोन कॉल्स फ्रॉम स्टूडेंट्स लाइक आस्किंग अबाउट एम एस पी आई नाउ विल टेक अ चांस टू एक्सप्लेन इन दिस वीडियो अबाउट वॉट इज एम एस पी आई एंड वी हैव डिसाइडेड टू मेक अ क्विक वीडियo on this. will try to help you in understanding the importance of mspi in full stack power bi developer role and also why companies are preferring someone who knows this is something which we'll see as part of this video now let's break into three questions first of all we'll understand what is mspi and why are companies interested in this skill and how it covers the entire full stack power bi developer now to break into multiple chunks let me talk about what is mspi now mspi we all know that it's a microsoft product which was there in use before the existence of power bi now even now people are using it the companies are using it but this was in greater demand before the story of power bi companies were getting the data from different data sources and they have to collect together create a one data set use it for the analysis and then do it a reporting side now one thing which we have understood is this mspi is again chunked into three parts or i would say three tools so one is ssis ssrs and ssas now what exactly is this now we all know that data is coming from different data sources we need to organize well we need to integrate the data and we need to create one complete picture now in msbi who takes care of this responsibility is the tool is ssis this is basically an integration service where we try to map all the tables data sets coming from different data and organize it one place now this may not be sufficient you need to add additional information you need to come up with some kpis you need to add some measures now next this is taken care by ssas so it is also known as the analysis service which takes care of adding additional information to the users right now finally i would say the majority of a portion or converting the raw data into insights is taken care by ssrs so this is a reporting service where we use slicers drill down drill through charts and make our report interactive so what we see as a data now we are going to see as a charts reports now this three is what the combination of mspi today we have a tool which can do all at one place which is power bi but before the existence of power bi msbi msbi was a tool which i would say internally three tools were taking the responsibility of doing three delicate task today we have power bi now you may ask me the question okay we have power bi why do we need mspi why companies are looking for mspi skills to answer your question power bi is a cloud based solution where we publish our reports in cloud whereas msbi was a on premises development reporting tool now since most of the companies are moving to power bi but we can still see that majority of the companies are still maintaining the data and reports in their on premises which is nothing but mspi now all these companies and projects want to move their reports from on premises to power bi so they need the people who knows both the skills because they can take care of end to end migration from mspi to power bi now this is a reason that companies are looking for msbi skills as well so what are the reports that is present in msbi now they want to migrate it to power bi for that 
companies are looking for both the skill now we all know power bi is the future where we can add some of the additional information by azure and we also know the past which is msbi so msbi is the past present is the power bi and future is nothing but we try to move the data to the cloud base so past present future of bi tool is completely we call it as a full stack power bi developer now in our course we will be taking the data sets at the raw data level trying to create the integration in ssis try to add additional information in ssas and also we try to do a reporting in ssrs now the same report will also get a chance to migrate it to the power bi and will also publish to the power bi service so this is what we are going to do as part of this course i hope you have cleared all your questions thank you for watching please subscribe our channel if you have not we'll meet you in the next topic